A revolutionary treatment for brain cancer, Alzheimer's, depression, stroke, Parkinson's. It's getting a lot of attention. With more on uh, this treatment, Dr. Shafu joining us this morning. Dr. Shafu, good morning. Always good, good to morning, see you. Good morning, Good to see you. All right, tell us a little bit about this treatment. It's not exactly like a drug, but it's how doctors are going to get to uh, these diseases. Sure, Shelly. So the issue has always been that anatomically in the brain, there's a separation between our bloodstream and the brain. It's there for a reason. It's a filter for protecting us from harmful, uh, you know, chemicals, other such things. The same problem, however, exists when we're trying to get medications, especially chemotherapeutic agents, into brain cancers. That blood-brain barrier has prevented us from being able to get these drugs to tumors in the brain, and therefore we haven't seen much in terms of progress in treating breast cancers for decades. Now, the interesting research that's just been done in Toronto has involved initially animal studies and, and now a patient, where essentially what they did, Shally, is they took um, the patient mm -hmm. and they put in these micro droplets of small amounts of air in through the bloodstream, and then they fitted the patient with focused ultrasound caps that delivered the ultrasound locally to where the tumor was located, and essentially what they did is they blasted open these the blood-brain barrier, this filter, to allow the chemotherapeutic agent to get through into the brain. And they actually tagged it and they looked at it with functional MRI scans and they were actually able to show getting a large quantity of these chemotherapeutic agents directly to the tumor in the brain. In the past, it was only about 25, 20 to 25% of the actual chemotherapeutic agent got to the cancer cells. They were showing significantly more. So this holds some great promise for treatment of not only brain cancer, but then of course research for other medications, right. drugs for other neurological diseases. Well, you know, we're, we're talking about cancer right now, but this list that I just read at the beginning, Alzheimer's, depression, stroke, Schizophrenia. Parkinson's. Exactly. I mean, Dr. Shafu, uh, let's be real here. I'll probably everybody that's watching right now knows somebody that is dealing with something like this. So this, this is huge. It could be revolutionary. And again, you know, this is early stages, so scientists are being very careful, very circumspect. We want to make sure that, you know, the proper studies are being done. But it does look very exciting and may be a real game changer for patients. So you say that this is in the beginning stages. Do they yes. now test this uh, on humans? Did they already do that? And it, then and then what happens from here? Sure, Shelly. So they did treat one woman who had brain cancer, uh, who had actually recurrent cancer, where they hadn't had any other treatments. They showed that, again, that chemotherapeutic agent got in. Then they followed that by brain surgery, where they took that tumor out. They're now investigating and looking at those cells to see how much of that chemotherapeutic agent actually got into the tumor cells. And there are about nine or 10 other patients at this Toronto Medical Center that are in line to, to get this treatment. So initially, as in a lot of studies that go on in, in science, mm -hmm. we start out with animal studies initially, right. and then we go into IRB, investigational research boards, ethically to make sure we're doing a good study, a, a safe study. So there's that line of patients now, about another nine are gonna be going through that, and then they'll be publishing those results in a peer-reviewed journal. And then, of course, wanted to duplicate those results in other medical centers throughout the world. So really exciting time for uh, us, especially in these neurological fields Dr. that have had. Dr. Shavu, before I let you go, when will we see it? So we'll see it, I believe, very soon. Again, the first study has just been, is, is ongoing. That will be done, I, I would imagine, within a few months. Those studies will be published. And then scientists from various centers around the world through the web will, will communicate with each other. And my suspicion is that other centers throughout the world are involved in neurological research will be conducting studies very similar. Dr. Shafu, thank you. Thank uh, you, Shelley. This is, this is huge, huge news. Yes.